Davenport, Iowa, USA, 1933. The Palmer School of Chiropractic, where chiropractic was born at the turn of the 20th century and which has become, in its first hundred years, as described by Emeritus Professor Walter Wardwell, a unique phenomenon, the only group dissenting from medical dominance that has not disappeared either through abandonment or absorption into the medical profession, and from where chiropractic has spread around the globe. My miraculous cure as a child from infantile paralysis, now called poliomyelitis by Detroit chiropractor Dr. Calabrese, led my parents in the early 30s to the Palmer School to become chiropractors. Chiropractic was the new vision. During that time, we lived on Brady Street, across from Palmer School, the Palmer Mansion, and B.J. Palmer's special garden, A Little Bit of Heaven. When Mother and Dad were not in lectures or studying, we were able to escape our housekeeper to enjoy Vanderveer Park, the small Davenport Zoo, or simply, with a little diversion, play jacks. I remember the great Christmas tree in the mansion, the handing out of presents, B.J. playing the organ and how, sitting beside him, my toes could not reach the foot pedals. These were wonderful days. B.J. and Mabel were the much-loved and respected developers of chiropractic when the Bolton family became closely linked with this first family of chiropractic. Both mother and dad graduated in 1934 as doctors of chiropractic and philosophers of chiropractic. Dad was valedictorian of his class and became a member of BJ's exclusive Men of the Black Tie. After graduation, my parents travelled with BJ and Mabel to Germany via England to initiate work on the wet specimen, a bold research project which could only be undertaken in Germany. Clinically inspired by BJ, who was then developing specificity in chiropractic spinal adjustment, in particular his upper cervical HIO theory, the research was executed by world-renowned scientists at the Dresden Hygienic Museum. It clearly demonstrated atlanto-axial occipital subluxation. At Palm School, BJ used to demonstrate in what were called pit classes use of the neurocolometer and his application of the toggle recoil adjustment using a knee posture table for both atlas and axis adjustments. Canadians by birth, Stanley William and Mariette Germain Bolton saw firsthand in Europe the gathering political storm clouds and decided to emigrate to Australia, having done business there for the Fullerbrush Company prior to entering the chiropractic profession at the age of 42. In 1938, Australia's first organisation of qualified professional chiropractors was formed on September the 2nd in Martin Place, Sydney. Father was elected secretary of the Australian Chiropractors Association and for 22 years in that capacity became the association's longest serving honorary officer. In addition to a Sydney practice, our firm established over the years 28 clinics throughout New South Wales and in southern Queensland. This was the establishment period of chiropractic history in Australia, when little else but good clinical results from a handful of dedicated and disciplined pioneer chiropractors among personally recommended patients gained increasing public acceptance 
for this new and challenging health profession. This was a time when more than half the qualified chiropractors practicing in New South Wales were former satisfied patients who rose to the challenge, traveled to the USA and Palmer to qualify and return as Australian chiropractors. Mother and Dad nurtured four children. All became chiropractors at Palmer. The two girls married chiropractors. In our immediate family of three generations, there are ten chiropractors. Our extended family here and abroad total over twice this number. Our roots in chiropractic, therefore, are very deep. This, then, is the personal heritage of our chiropractic family. But in a sense, it is also your heritage, too. For the collective heritage of achievements in chiropractic of all chiropractors and chiropractic families, whether historically from the mainstream from which it's my privilege to stem, or from the second stream in chiropractic which developed in Australia and now organisationally won, it is, together, our Australian heritage. It took 200 years and the dedicated efforts of countless people, black and white, to change the established concept of terra nullius. That Australia was an empty land, unpeopled, without history or heritage. To recognise the existence, rights, dignity and fundamental humanity of Aboriginal Australia. Might it not take a similar time by equally active, dedicated, like-minded people from both streams in chiropractic to change today's established disease-oriented concept of allopathic medicine to recognize, accept and work with the innate health and well-being concept which we know to be the core truth in chiropractic? In one of his books the bigness of the fellow within. B.J. Palmer wrote, We chiropractors work with the subtle substance of the soul. We release the prisoned impulse, the tiny rivulet of force that emanates from the mind and flows over the nerves to the cells and stirs them into life. We deal with the magic power that transforms common food into living, loving, thinking clay that robes the earth with beauty and hues and scents the flowers with the glory of the air. In the dim, dark, distant, long ago, when the sun first bowed to the morning star, this power spoke and there was life. It quickened the slime of the sea and the dust of the earth and drove the cell to union with its fellows in countless living forms. Through eons of time, it finned the fish and winged the bird and fanged the beast. Endlessly it worked, evolving its forms until it produced the crowning glory of them all. With tireless energy, it blows the bubble of each individual life and then, silently, relentlessly, dissolves the form and absorbs the spirit into itself again. And yet, you ask, can chiropractic cure appendicitis or the flu? Have you more faith in a knife or a spoonful of medicine than in the innate power that animates the internal living world? Mm -hmm.